this video, I am just going to this new heat tape that I found. It is a clear heat tape. So basically, I am staying away from the goldish, yellowish heat tape just because you never know what happens when you buy that one. Sometimes you get the tape that doesn't leave any mark on your clothing and then some other time you just get the tape that will leave that yellow mark on your clothes or whatever you're sublimating on and yeah then it's just a waste of your materials so in this video i am going to try this new tape i am trying to get to the paper so I can share with you where I got it from. So I am going to try this clear heat tape. It looks blue. It almost looks like the Cricut heat tape. Just because you get four rolls. There's an extra one in the bag. You get four rolls for seven. I'm just going to round it up to eight dollars, but it's for seven something. And I bought it on Amazon and I bought it from Istoyo. I bought it from this store on Amazon. Yeah, so I am going to give it a try tonight. So in order to see if it works, I will be pressing on a white shirt. And of course, I choose the color white because my purpose of buying the tape is to avoid marks on my white colored item. So this is a Cricut shirt. It is a kid shirt. It is a three t-shirt. And I am going to press an image on here and then we will try out the tape and see if it works. So I do have my heat press set at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. It's easier this way. When I lay my shirt on the heat press, I try to make sure this part is kind of hanging off. That's just my preference. And you try to line it up straight. So I did made an image on Silhouette Studio. This is the image I will be pressing onto this shirt. The shirt will be for my baby girl. But first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and try to um, try to unroll this tape. So basically, okay, here we go. If you have a tape dispenser, that is good, but um, I don't have one. I should really get one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut four pieces of tape because I'm gonna tape down all four edges. I probably just needed, yeah, I'm gonna tape down four edges. I probably just needed two pieces, but why not four pieces? So I can feel it's very sticky. To me, it has more stickiness than the Cricut heat tape. Like I said, I've been using the Cricut heat tape because I don't want to use those yellow goldish tape because some reason I've been unfortunate with the marks on my cups or my shirts. And you know, one Cricut heat tape is the cost of four tapes. So why not go this route? I will put the information in the description box where I got this tape from because if it works, then it is cost effective and you get more for your money. So I'm just gonna place my image here. I'm just gonna eyeball this. I'm really not going to pull out my little measurement rulers or sticks because That is okay. So I'm just gonna take the edges down just to keep it in place. 
Okay, so I have my edges down. It is in place. The tape is, it has a good um, sticky residue to it. And I hope there's no tape residue on this shirt. Because like I said, it has a more stickiness than the Cricut tape. But I'm just gonna go ahead. This is just parchment paper. I ordered this from Amazon too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this paper over here. And then we will press that first 60 seconds. I will adjust my pressure because I last um, press a sweatshirt, so. So we're gonna press that for 60 seconds. And I will leave the link for this tape. Because like I said, if it works, then it saves you a lot of money, it saves me a lot of money. So instead of getting one Cricut tape, I can get four of this tape, four pieces of this tape. And if you can see, it has like a very, it is not a, it is not skinny. And then the width is like, it's wide enough. It's not like, I really can't find where I put those gold tapes because I just threw them somewhere. I bought them and then I stopped using it after it left mark on my stuff, so. I believe they're like a little skinnier, but they do have some that's like this size. But this is a perfect size and the perfect amount. And like I said, you get four for under $8. And that company name is, is Toyo on Amazon. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lift this. I said this shirt was made for sublimation. On my 50% shirts, I'd probably leave it for an extra 10 seconds and it makes the image pop, but this shirt was made for sublimation, so I'm just gonna go ahead and lift this off. Okay, so I'll bring this up to you. This is the shirt. I taped the four edges, and you can see there is no mark, and there is no, there is no sign that the tape was even on it. Like, I'm gonna take this piece off, and oh my gosh it's awesome so yeah so i am glad that i bought the tape this video is all about the tape because i know everybody is tired of the marks or unsure if you will get the good yellow goldish tape so yeah it left like nothing on it and this shirt is cute this design is cute i made this design tonight and uh my baby girl will look cute in this shirt up probably make one for myself well thank you for watching i do hope i help you out in this video and help you save some money so go get you some tape for tape four seven let's run it up to eight dollars so yeah until the next video peace out if you haven't liked and subscribed, please go ahead and like and subscribe and follow my content. It will help me a lot and see you in the next video. Until next time.